I'm so excited to be learning about God together. I know it's going to be such a good day. I'm so excited that you decided to hang out with me this morning. Today we are continuing our series, Big and Small. Do you remember what this series is about? That's right, God created this whole world, all the planets, the stars in the sky, and us. God is really big. Knowing God is so big can sometimes make us feel small and a little like our worries or even what's going on in our lives doesn't really matter. But in this series, we're gonna learn all about Job and how even the small things are a big deal to God. Doesn't that sound like an awesome series? I think so too. Oh my, I've just been talking and talking and I didn't even ask, did you guys have a great week? Yeah, I did too. My grandma took me and Treble to a pumpkin patch. Have you guys ever been to one? Yeah, they are really neat. I think you can only go to them like this month. Yeah, I think so. My grandma even let us pick out our own pumpkin to take home. I proudly have mine displayed on the porch. I just love fall so much. It's basically the best time of year. I mean, it's nice and cool, and we have bonfires and hay rides and pumpkins. What's not to love? See, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you know what else I love? Yeah, apple cider is great, but I really love playing games. How about we play one? Okay, cool. How about we play Would You Rather? Yeah? So I ask you a question where you get to pick between two different things and you tell us what you would rather do. How does that sound? Okay, are you ready for our first one? Okay, would you rather go on a hayride or go through a corn maze? Oh, everyone, this is so difficult. I don't know how I could possibly choose. I love all things fall. Hayrods are really nice, but corn mazes make you think. They could be the perfect amount of challenge. I'm not sure, friends. What would you rather do? Oh, that's such a good choice. Okay, are you ready for another one? Okay, would you rather eat all the pumpkin pie you can without a fork or Eat a candy apple that has bugs stuck all over it. Okay, everyone, this just sounds like a mess. I love pumpkin pie. Oh, pumpkin pie with whipped cream, mm, yum. But it would be really messy not eating it with utensils. But then there are candy apples, they're so good. I had two last week. But one covered in bugs, ugh. I just don't think I could eat one like that. But maybe it would make them taste better? Uh, what do you say, everyone? Which would you rather eat? Yeah, that was a really hard choice, but I think you made the right one. Okay, are you ready for our last one? Cool, okay. Would you rather have a s'more with a regular old Hershey piece of chocolate or a s'more with a Reese's cup? Okay. Everyone, this is super difficult. I just love plain milk chocolate, especially with the marshmallow just toasted just right and it melts the chocolate so perfectly. It's just an ooey sandwich of goodness. But a s'more with a Reese's cup, I mean, that sounds amazing. I love peanut butter and chocolate together mixed with the toasted marshmallows. Yum. I'm not sure which I would rather. I mean, okay. Just you answer, which would you rather eat, friends? Oh, good choice. Those were some pretty cool would you rather questions. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, I did too. You know what else sounds like a fun time? Oh yeah, that does sound fun. But I was thinking maybe we could sing some songs to worship God. What do you think? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Awesome. Let's go ahead and show God how much we appreciate all he does for us by worshiping him. The fight is 
song I'll hold my ground I'm gonna crash the lies of the enemy I won't back down My goodness, it can't be. Is this, is this it? It is. It's the adventure bag. Ah! I'm so excited. Oh, hey there, Rust City kids. How are you this morning? Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm awesome. Look at what I found. Taylor must have left it for me or, or mailed it to me or something. But look. I get to use the adventure bag. How exciting. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. <laughs> adventure bags are just like so very cool and helpful. Maybe I should take a peek inside and see what's in there. Okay. Hmm. What are all these doing here? Odd. Maybe I'll eat that later. Juice. Tasty. Um, let's see. I really thought this bag was going to be kind of helpful, but like, so far, nothing. <laughs> Let's see, Let's see what this could be, huh? Oh, is this our big idea? Step one, share the big idea. Step two, lesson video. Oh, these must be the instructions to help us through our show. That's amazing. Okay, this is really helpful. Let's see what other treasures are in here, okay? Um, See. Oh, perfect. This is what I use to turn the show on. I'm gonna need that later, so let me put it back for safekeeping. Oh, I see one more thing. This has to be it. I, I think that this has to be the big idea. It is. Are you guys ready for the big idea already? Not quite? Hmm, 
Okay, well, how about a quick review and then our big idea? Deal. Okay, so last week we learned about Job and how God listens when we have big feelings. We talked about all of the hard things that Job went through and how he had some big feelings attached to those. When we have big feelings, just like Job, we can talk to God about them through prayer. Okay, now are you ready for the new big idea? Perfect. It says, God sees the big picture. Hmm, maybe let's try saying this one together. On the count of three. One, two, three. God sees the big picture. Big picture of what? What's he looking at? Hold on, let me check the instructions. Okay, yep, let's watch our lesson video. Maybe that will help us understand. Oh, hmm, snack for later. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, hey kids, welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Thank goodness you're here. I really need your help. Oh man, oh man, am I happy to see y'all. I thought I was a goner. So here's the situation. You see this behind me? Really, really weird, right? Well, the other day I was walking through my backyard and then all of a sudden, I fell down a really deep hole. I fell forever. And then suddenly, I ended up here. Where's here, you ask? That is a good question. I have no idea. Like, I've sat here and wondered where I am for hours. All I've done is wonder, wonder, and wonder in this land. I don't know, might as well call it Wonderland or something. Mm, that doesn't sound so good. Anywho, y'all have any guesses where I am? Because I figured if I found out where I am, I could get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So take a good look. Got any ideas? Carl? Jada, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, you know, as good as I can be right now. Huh, by the way, where are you right now? Well, your guess is as good as mine. I just told the kids that I fell down this crazy hole and now I'm here. Well, have you tried doing the rhyme? Rhyme? What are you talking about? You don't know about the rhyme? I thought everyone knew about the rhyme. Well, I haven't. What is it? Well, whenever you're lost, you say the rhyme, and just like that, you'll be found and know exactly where you are. Are you kidding? What's the rhyme? Tell me the rhyme! Okay, okay. It goes, Roger Dodger Buttercup. Roger Dodger Buttercup. Rumble Crumble Guzzle Flup. Rumble crumble, goozer plup. <laughs> that, why didn't it work? Was that a joke? Did you make that up? I did, I did. It was pretty good though, right? Um, no, it wasn't Jada. I'm fine for my life over here and you're making me act like a citizen of who will. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. It's all right, but seriously, you know how to get me out here? I actually do. It's kind of a crazy idea though. Crazier than that rhyme? Not really. Okay, what is it? All right, here it is. Back up. Back up? Yeah, I think it might help. Okay, if you think so. Whoa, I know this place. It's our local fairground. Thanks, Jada. No problem, Carl. How'd you know that's gonna work? Mm, I had a hunch. And sometimes it helps to see the bigger picture. The bigger picture? What do you mean by that? Well, it was hard to tell where you were just by the little we saw, but backing up showed us the bigger picture and helped us realize what the situation really was. Wow, that's really smart. Thanks, Carl. It helped Job, so I figured it would help you. Job was stuck at a local fair? No, not exactly. You see, Job was going through a rough time. <laughs> yeah, that's the understatement of the year. Last week, we talked about how Job's feelings were so big that he needed to talk to God and God listened. And that's the end, folks. Well, not really. What? What more could happen? Well, what happens when we usually talk to someone? Uh, they talk back. That's right. And guess what? God talked back to Job. <gasps> 
After Job told God all about his big feelings, God had a very big message for Job. Let's read what God says. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? Oh, what were its footing set? Or who laid its cornerstone? While the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. It's nothing like that. I think God was trying to get Job to understand that there was so much he knew nothing about. God asked Job more things like can he talk to the clouds or send lightning bolts or provide food for all the animals? Okay, well the answer is no. Job couldn't do any of that, right? <laughs> no, Carl. No human can do any of those things. Aha! That explains everything! It does? Not one bit. Explain it, please. <laughs> okay, well, think about it. At first, Job continued to praise God, even though all these bad things were happening to him. So Job had talked to God about everything in his life that was going wrong. He was upset with the situation he was in right now, but God wanted Job to see the bigger picture. How would God do that? Well, you just heard it in God's own words. Huh, to be honest, it sounds like God was playing 20 questions. But really, God was helping Job get another view. God was reminding Job who created the universe, who provides for the animals and makes sure the birds of the air are fed. It's God, always has been and always will be. Oh. If God can do all of those things that we can't do, not even a little, it shows us that God is able to do anything. That means even our biggest problems won't be a problem for God at all. So we have to trust that God can take care of it. We have to look at the bigger picture. This world and our lives aren't about us. It's about loving God and loving the people God has created. I couldn't agree more. I love that God can see the bigger picture, so we can too. Well, you heard it. The big idea is that God sees the big picture. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God sees the big picture. Good job, everybody. So make sure you tune in next week to hear more about Job's story and to hear what Carl's been up to. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Can you believe that Kara believed that silly rhyme that Jada told him? Oh, that was crazy. Hey, Steph. How are you? Hey. Hey, Zach. Um, I'm actually great. Want to know why? I don't know. Not really. Oh. Okay. I'm just kidding. I absolutely want to know. Oh, good. Okay. I'm doing great because I have this. You have what? Oh no, what? I mean, how did this happen? Zach, I had the adventure bag. I finally had it. It was, it was in my hands. I even had the big idea and the remote and all the other cool stuff. Like, where could it be? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's bag up. How'd you get the bag? Well, when I came to greet our friends, it was just sitting on my table. Taylor must have sent it for me. I, I didn't see it until now. So I came out and I got all excited and I put it right away. Right away, Zach. Okay, okay, okay. Did you happen to take it off at any point? I mean, yeah, I didn't, I, I just set it down back on the table, but I wouldn't have lost it. Okay, okay, I okay. Then you watch the video, I assume. What did you do during the video? I watched. I was super focused because I wanted to be able to talk to our friends about the video, so... Okay. How did you feel while you were watching the video? Well, I felt focused. Anything else? I was super focused, but I kept getting distracted. Like, the bag holds a lot of stuff. Like, a lot. And holding all that, it just made it super heavy. Like, really heavy. And there were snacks in it, so I was, like, eating some of the snacks. And I just wasn't paying attention. And really to the bag, I was paying attention to the video. And it just so was sitting you there. you took it off and set it down. Like maybe right over there? Yes! Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. 
I thought that I lost it forever. Taylor would have been so upset and how would I have the things that I need to talk with our friends? Well, thank goodness I found it. Thank goodness you helped me take a step back and hey, wait a minute. Wait, I'm waiting. Zach. One second, Stephanie. It hasn't been a minute yet. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Okay, anyways. You helped me take a step back and realize where my bag was. <laughs> that is just like our story today. God helps Job take a step back and see the big picture. What? How? So, you know how Job went through a lot of rough things? Sure. Well, he talked to God and God talked back. And God asked Job a bunch of questions. Like, can he send lightning bolts or feed all the animals? Well, of course Job can't do that. Exactly. It, it, exactly? Exactly! So God was helping Job realize what he could do and what he couldn't do and how God can do all of those things. So we have to trust that God can handle and take care of whatever. He can see the big picture and how everything plays out. Oh, okay. So God can see everything, knows everything, and he can do anything. So we should just leave things up to him because, I mean, he can see the big picture and can do, well, anything. Exactly. Wow, God is so good. He sure is. And because he's so good, I want to know more and more about this word and what he says in it. Right. And one way we can do that is by memorizing verses from the Bible. That way we really know them and have them when we need them. All right, friends, come on, let's stand up. Let's work on this month's memory verse. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Memory Verse Time. Our verse this month is Job 37.5. It says, God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond our understanding. Whoa, this one's a goodie. I can't wait to have it fully memorized. And you know, memorizing is always easier with motions. So let's get to it. Move number one, we're gonna cup our hands around our mouth like we're making an announcement, like this. And then as we move them outwards, we're going to pulse our hands. Perfect. Move number two. We're gonna use both hands. We're gonna start at the center and move outwards in a circular motion. Nice. And last but not least, move number three. We're gonna start both hands, palms out, close to our chest, and push outwards beyond our body. Get it? All right, let's put the motions with our words. Ready? Job 37, five. God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond our understanding. Wow, that was so good. Let's try and speed it up a little bit, huh? Ready, ready? Okay, Job 37, five. God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond our understanding. Man, you guys are just so good. Well, you keep on practicing and make sure to tell your friends about this awesome verse. And you guys have a fantastic day. Hey friends, you guys did an awesome job. Right, Zach? Zach? Oh, um, well, you did do an awesome job, but I really don't know where Zach went. Man. I'm gonna have to take a step back and try to find him. All right, friends, well, while I do that, you guys go enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you back here next week. Bye. Hey there, family. We hope that you enjoyed today's Rust City Kids experience. Here at Rust City, we know church and parenting both go beyond, and I mean way beyond Sunday mornings. Your child's relationship with the Lord takes time to cultivate and develop. The famous saying is, it takes a village, right? Being connected to our kids is so important. And also, we would love to connect to you and partner with you and encourage you as a family throughout the week. You can stay connected by downloading our app and signing up for our parent email on our website. 
These emails have encouragements from our kids' pastors, activities to do at home, notifications about upcoming events, and so much more. Be sure to check out this month's parent guide while you're on the website. It breaks down all that we covered in the month. Also, you can utilize the Big Show Note Sheet on our website to help you and your kiddos follow along throughout the online service. Check it out. Have a great week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.